everybody put your hands in the air. What's up, y'all? Let me start off by saying this vlog is going to be very different from anything, <clears throat> whoa, my voice, that we have ever done. It's currently 8.30 in the morning. And on one of our last vlogs, I saw this comment, which was one of the nicest things anyone's ever said. And I really, really appreciate it. But it hit me. We're always posting content that we hope brings joy to others and puts a smile on their face because that's just what we like to do. But I want y'all to know and realize that we also go through different seasons and times where it's not always really, really happy. I think that sometimes social media sort of makes people think, people want you to think that their lives are all together and good and that kind of thing. So today I'm gonna give you a glimpse inside of what an average day in my life looks like. And I'm gonna let you know that I have been going through some crazy things that y'all will know a lot more about in the coming videos. I'm very, very excited for y'all to know, but also it's been one of the most difficult times. It'll all make sense in a couple of weeks when y'all see those videos, but just know that we also go through all kinds of things and I wanted to share a little bit. Anyway, today I'm going to do my typical day, which is basically editing, but I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit and throughout the day I'm gonna be doing different things that I enjoy doing that make me happy. So first things first, we gotta start off with the most important meal of the day, breakfast. I got some oatmeal, walnuts, and some bananas, which is currently my new obsession. I also thought it'd be fun to tell y'all some different things that you probably don't know about me. The first one is, I don't like coffee. I know, shocker. Coffee sort of makes me sick, so I can't really drink it. Fun fact number two, I'm a very slow eater. Like really, really slow. I like to read my Bible while I eat my breakfast, but I will have to be honest with you, I've been slacking, but there's so much goodness in here. I mean, it's literally the word of God. That's crazy, we have the power to read it. Can't let it sit on our shelves and collect dust. We gotta, we gotta read it, or otherwise it won't do what it's supposed to do. The same. Would you believe me if I told you that I'm still eating oatmeal? <laughs> told you I'm a slow eater, like really slow. I got a game plan. There's a little breeze this morning and it's a little overcast. So before the sun comes out and it gets blazing hot outside, I'm gonna go do a little bit of yard work. Yep, that's fun fact number three. I enjoy yard work. I like it. It makes me happy. Here we go. Got my yard work outfit on. Oh wait, one more thing, one more thing. My bushwhacker. <laughs> We're officially ready to start whacking bushes. My arms sort of feel like limp noodles right now, but we got like three more bushes and then we're gonna be done. It's harder than it looks. I'm done, I think, for the most part. At least my arms are telling me I'm done. So I really want a pizza, but it's currently 10.30 in the morning. But I think I'm gonna make it anyway, because why not? pizza and I'm gonna watch Mr. Monk while I eat this. It's how you make me happy right there. Mr. Monk, I love you. Fun fact number four. I love when people click the like button. So make sure you go click it right now. I changed to my comfy clothes. Don't hate on me for the Yankees hat. I am a big fan of Aaron Judge. He hits home runs like why, why would you not like Aaron Judge? So this is where I'm gonna be for the next two or three hours working on this next YouTube video that I cannot wait for y'all to see. I really hope y'all like it. I know that we have put our hearts and souls into all the stuff that's about to come out, the videos, the music, everything. I am beyond excited, beyond it, for y'all to see all the stuff we've been working on. So let's do it, let's get some work done. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little delusional. I thought that would be like a really cool shot but I don't know that just turned out to make me really dizzy and now the whole room is spinning well, okay I gotta take a break I really really like baseball I used to play softball and I'm sort of kind of obsessed with baseball in my free time I'm typically checking MLB app and going to Robert's games we're hitting and that kind of thing so what I like to do to get a little energy out is I like to hit baseballs so I'm gonna go do that right now we just got to get some of this energy out it's the editing energy 
is the best way to do it, just by slamming some baseballs into a lacrosse net. I mean, why not? I don't like working out. I like to get my exercise and physical activity through hitting baseballs and through yard work. Yeah, those are my two favorite things. And swimming, I like to swim. Oh no, the tee just broke. That's not good. This is for all the haters. I've got a wood bat. It's a Victus, just like the pros use, so. I'm swinging exactly what Aaron Judge and those guys swing up there in the big leagues. Here we go, I better stretch a little. Here goes nothing. I'm nervous. The camera's making me nervous. If I swing and miss, don't laugh. Oh, snodge. That did not just happen. I'm editing that out. It's something about the camera it just made me nervous. This is an Aaron Judge drill, actually. So embarrassing. Here comes the UPS man. He doesn't see me. This is so awkward. Maybe I should just hide behind the bush. Hey! Good, how are you doing? This is awkward. Perfect, thank you so much. A base hit to extend the inning. I need a double to tie up the game, and I need a home run to walk it off. Here we go. McMillan steps up to the plate. There's two outs. Runners on the corner. She needs a base hit to extend the inning. Think she'll do it, Tom? We'll have to see, Jimmy. Here comes the pitch. It's got to be a double. I tied it up. I tied it up. I know it did. <laughs> oh, got to end on that one. That was nice. Happy Lauren right now. Now I got to get back to the editing. But before that, I'm going to have a little snack. And I have some advice. If you're going through a hard time, or if something doesn't turn out the way you thought it was going to turn out, and it's disappointing to you, and you feel like you're just going through like a valley, I personally believe the only way to actually get through that situation is with the Lord. He's the only way that I know that I'm gonna get through the situation. And you can do a lot of things that can help you along the way too, like things you enjoy. Example, yard work, hitting baseballs, making videos. This, just making this video today has just helped me immensely, just made me so happy and I really, really enjoy making content and I love coming up with new ideas. And you know, to be able to do it with my family the people I love the most is is honestly like that's my dream job. I'm doing my dream job. So thank y'all so much for allowing me to do that. Like I'm just getting excited just talking about this. So I just want to encourage anybody that's going through a hard time, a tough time, or, or situation that, I mean you probably hear this a thousand times. I know I hear it whenever I'm going through one. You know people try to help you and try to turn your mood up. And everything but I think the only thing that's actually gonna give you real joy during those situations is Jesus the peace of Jesus bring it to the Lord first and foremost he's gonna be your real source of joy through the bad times and the good times anyway I just wanted to encourage y'all but for the most part I know this is a very different type of vlog than we that we've ever done I just wanted to be honest and open and real with y'all I cannot wait for y'all to see what I keep referencing throughout this video it's probably the most special project I've ever worked on. I don't want to give it away, so I have to be careful with what I say, but you will know within the coming weeks, and I'm very excited for y'all to finally get to see and hear and know everything that's been going on behind the scenes. It's going to be the most vulnerable, raw, 
video footage that y'all get to see and I I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because it's very different from anything we've ever done before, but hey, I'm ready for it. I'm so ready for it and I'm ready for this RX bar. Mm. <laughs> y'all support means so much to us. Can't wait for y'all to see the new stuff. Peace. Love. Bye y'all. <laughs> what I love about the book of Psalms is that a lot of the verses in here are actually songs that other, you know, that Christian artists have written. So, like, for example, um, Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2 are, I lift my eyes up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. You know the song? I lift my eyes into the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. That's like a bridge in a song. I think it's Casting Crowns. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. You know, the musician in me just, I get giddy about that kind of stuff. <laughs> this one might not work. <sighs> Told you it wasn't gonna work. Now we really have a problem. We have a major problem. I'm gonna have to ed just edit this whole segment out. <laughs> the tea is making me look bad, I promise you. There's an actual scientific reason as to why the tea made me look bad just then.